Hi everyone, it's Jack from Jack's English. Summer's here, so I'm gonna give you some wonderful phrasal verbs that you can use in your next summer vacation. Today's focus is phrasal verbs, particularly phrasal verbs that you can use on vacation. Phrasal verbs are so useful and so commonly used. I always tell my students, try to learn the phrasal verbs to use in your speaking because it's very often used more than the actual vocabulary that they replace. For example, I'm much more likely to use set off instead of depart. I very rarely say depart in speaking. So today's phrasal verbs are fantastic to add to your spoken English. Try to memorize them and most importantly, use them in your next conversation. Let's get into today's story which is about my recent summer holiday. Last week, I went on a trip to a wonderful resort on the coast. I set off early in the morning and my friend saw me off at the airport. I got on the plane around 6 a.m. and I settled in for the journey. The plane took off at the scheduled time and I drifted off for a while. Flying always makes me sleepy. When I woke up, I could see the sea out of the aeroplane window, so I knew we were getting close. The plane touched down, I left the airport, and then I hailed a taxi to go to my hotel. I checked into my hotel around lunchtime. I had the afternoon free, so I decided to look around the area. It was a beautiful, peaceful area, so I knew I would be able to switch off for a few days. My holiday was spent chilling out, swimming and eating delicious food. It was exactly what I needed. Once I got back to my home airport, my friend picked me up and took me back home. I had a perfect trip, but it was time to get back to work. Okay, there you have it. So that's 12 phrasal verbs in a very short story. And these are phrasal verbs that of course you can use in any situation but they are very common when talking about traveling. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Don't forget, leave your examples below and I'll check them for you so you can improve your English and start using this content actively. As always, please like this video. It helps me grow and reach more of you students. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe and join me for more English lessons in the future. I hope you have a wonderful week and perhaps enjoy a summer holiday soon. Bye-bye.